for that one for a while. Well, opioid addiction, of course, has been on the rise across America and here at home. It has killed more Americans than the Iraq, Afghanistan, and Vietnam wars combined, and it's a growing issue among veterans as well. Jamie Hayes spoke with our local VA hospital about how they help our vets fight addiction. According to the Center for Disease Control, last year alone, opioids killed more than 64,000 Americans. And according to a psychiatrist at the VA hospital, 20% of men will have some kind of addiction in their lifetime. And that is very true in our veteran community. But luckily, the VA hospital has plenty of resources for our vets. We have an entire outpatient program, the Alcohol and Drug Treatment Program, which is uh, dedicated to all of the addictions, uh, not just opiates. And when it comes to addiction, the VA hospital looks at many factors into why the individual is addicted, such as suffering from PTSD or if addiction runs in the family. One of the things we often look for is, do addictions run in your family? Uh, if addictions run in your family, then you're probably at higher risk for addictions than the general population. As well as therapy groups, the VA hospital has various ways to help our vets with addiction, such as the use of MAT, medication assistant treatment, medications uh, to help uh, prevent cravings, uh, to help prevent relapses to drug use by blocking the receptors that those drugs affect. According to the Centers of Disease Control, 40 Americans die from prescription opioid overdose every day. And back in October, President Donald Trump asked the Department of Health and Human Services to declare the opioid crisis a public health emergency. And it can be easy to gain access to opioids, but it can be hard to get off them. What happens is if a person takes those drugs over a long period of time, they, their body can very well become dependent on them. Covering story, Jamie Hayes, Channel 2 News. Well, if you or someone you know might have some form of addiction, maybe would like to get some help, we have a link for you on our website. That's ktvn.com. There's a list of local treatment centers.